Some of the most enjoyable time you can spend with your horse is going out on a trail ride. It's a great way to explore scenic country aboard your ultimate ATV that can go most anywhere. Little arguments can arise between horse and rider when trail riding that can sometimes get in the way of the enjoyment part of the ride. Sometimes it can downright ruin the ride and make riding less frequent, which in turn increases the chances that the next ride will just become no fun. One step forward you might be able to take to starting to enjoy your horse on the trail is to change the bit you're using. Many bits encourage your horse to flip its head or root out because the horse gets away from the pressure by doing this undesired behavior. Single jointed bits are often a source of creating these bad habits because of the nutcracker effect they have inside the mouth. Mikmar Bit Company has made great advances for the trail rider to get back to enjoying the ride for both the horse and rider. Designs that spread pressure to the head and don't concentrate it to any one area. This tends to give the rider more control and gives the horse a break by dispersing pressure. The bits have a wider mouthpiece which disperses pressure to the mouth and a nose rope that spreads the pressure to the nose, mouth, chin, and pole. The rider gets better control and the horse is not trying to get away from concentrated pressure. It's a win-win for both horse and rider. This is the Micmar training bit, uh, originally patented back in 1953, so it's not a new idea. Uh, it divides the pressure to four different areas on the horse, very responsive points, to the nose, the mouth, the chin, and the pole. Um, it is very light in weight. Uh, it's very flat and wide, as you can see. Because it is wide and flat, it doesn't have a quick turnover. So when you draw back on that rein, you've got a nice soft feel of the horse's mouth. The horse has time to think about what's being asked of him rather than some abrupt grabbing type of bit. Um, it's great for riding down the trail. We have a lot of pleasure riders that use this bit every day and they never get out of it. Um, the name training bit uh, was used because it really does help train the horse. Um, however, it is not just for training. So the nice part about the training bit is that it disperses the pressure to different areas. It takes uh, a little concussion off the mouth and places it across the nose. So when you draw back on that rein, you're not just putting um, pressure to one focused area, you're getting it divided to four different areas. We have countless people calling and riding us consistently day after day in different disciplines, especially in the Western world, especially trail riders. Um, people that have had their horses in you know, five to ten different bits. They can't find one that the horse is doing well in, and they're kind of at the end of the road, and they say, gosh, we're going to just give it a try, and um, they get the bit, and they call, and they're so excited, and generally, it's within a few rides. Um, sometimes people get um, amazing results immediately. Uh, sometimes it takes a few, few days. Sometimes it's taken the horse a long time to get the way that it is. Um, certain issues where they're throwing their head or hollowing out their back or they're carrying themselves in a resentful way or defensive way. So it takes a little bit more time with those horses, but um, most of the time they come around to the training bit and they learn to accept it and be comfortable in it. They're not afraid of it. Um, so in general, I would say overall, it's an extremely versatile bit um, for any discipline in the Western world. The bits in the Micmar line that spread the pressure to four areas are the training bit, the combination bits, which are a shorter shank version of the training bit, and have options for a jointed mouthpiece and swiveling shanks. The gated riders love this bit. They love to ride down the trail in it because it allows you to keep the horse elevated in front without it being too overwhelming or overbearing on the mouth. So in other words, when you're taking a hold of that horse, you can actually go ahead and engage the horse and get some contact on the horse's mouth and you can ride that horse up into your hands with your legs and you can push them into their gait without it being too much on the front end in their mouth and they don't get off by it, they don't come behind it. So it's wonderful because the horse will grab a hold of it and engage it. Um, it doesn't interfere with the horse uh, by being too much or too strong or too um, aggressive in their mouth. It allows them to be free in the shoulder. I know a lot of gated people are worried about, oh, the bit's going to be too much in the mouth and the horse is going to be afraid to move forward in the shoulder and uh, maybe they're going to get behind the bit. This bit is excellent for uh, keeping a horse elevated with proper vertical flexion and allowing the horse to come forward. And the feather bit, which is the newest four-point pressure bit, 
and is a streamlined, smaller version of the original training bit. No matter which of these dispersed pressure bits you choose, it's the first step to riding more and enjoying your horse more, as these lightweight bits encourage gentle, dispersed control and discourage bit avoidance habits which can ruin a good trail ride. Quite often it's complicated choosing a bit, so if you're having trouble, email us or give us a call at Micmar and we'll be happy to help. We talk to people all day long and help them sort through their issues with their horses, so we look forward to talking to you. For more information or a free DVD, go to micmar.com or call 866-MICMAR-7.